as newly appointed first inspector general of police what are some of the things we can expect from you firstly i would like to say a big thank you to my team i would also like to express my sincere gratitude to the entire police force for believing in me enough to grant me such a title that i will not take lightly i will forever cherish and thirdly to the people the people of ghana i i will not disappoint you from this moment on your safety lies in my hands and that is my first priority uh my team and i we have a lot of things that we hope to change during my tenure but for now we're fully focusing on three issues that we want to change and make better as soon as possible firstly we have bribery for the longest time bribery has been the most common and easiest way for one to extricate themselves out of a situation when dealing with police in Ghana. What my team and I have implemented is a new pension scheme wherein a police who has served 30 years in the system will be a part of this new pension scheme. A check will be given every month. Kitchen appliances, house appliances after retirement will be issued and this is just to discourage the whole idea of bribery. Any single police officer found guilty of bribery will be completely exempt from this new pension scheme. Consequences will be faced. You may not know how harsh it will be. So I would advise every single officer in the system to act accordingly to follow the laws that we lay out in office before you go out in the street. We want to create a, a safe Ghana, uh, a fair and honest police system where our citizens can ensure that their safety lies in our hands. Secondly, we have awareness of police units. We all know that Ghana is one of the most peaceful and safest African countries but we still we still have to put the safety and security of our people in our hands accidents happen emergencies happen and we always have to prepare ourselves for these things so in terms of the police units the police vehicles we my team and I we have decided to put our police contact number, that's the 191 number, on the police dispatch vehicles. We have decided to put our emergency number on our dispatch vehicles, or 191 number, just to make it, a, it more visible. I mean, only 80% of Ghanaians actually know the emergency numbers in case of, a, of an emergency. 20% of Ghanaians won't know what number to call. So we want to put it out there that our numbers are there for you to call. We'll also have sporadic advertisements, radio, TV from time to time, just putting our numbers out there for our, our citizens, just to let them know that we are here for you. In case of an emergency, our numbers are there for you to call. We're here for you. Thirdly, and one of the most important and striking issues is our ability to hire more qualified and aware officers. We want to ensure that our team is properly structured, that we have fully qualified officers who can go out and represent us, serve our country, protect our people to the best of their abilities. Long gone are the days when your uncle could appoint your position in the police force. <laughs> that will no longer happen or six month training period that we have will now be extended to a 12 month training period or sessions or trainings will be more vigorous so this is only for the strong the brave and the courageous people who are willing to serve our people to the best of their ability no more half of anything no more halfway. It's either you're, 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 we want just your 100. 
if we don't have your 100, if we don't have you fully committed to the country, this is not for you. We want to ensure that when you leave here, we put our trust in you that you can go out and serve the country. Treat them like they're your own flesh and blood because that's what they are. We want to secure Ghana. We want to secure our people. We want to ensure that they're safe at all times. We want to ensure a fair and honest system so that our people in turn can continue to put their trust in us. And that's why we're completely reforming the hiring process to our system. If you're not fully qualified, I don't care who your uncle is, I don't care who your dad is, you cannot and you will not be a part of the police system.